next train will be leaving from platform one. All aboard! Go I'm here in the Ardennes, south of Belgium. I'm ready to do the tank challenge set by Joost. Um, I drove all across the country because I live on the other side and I'm now here in the south, west. Um, luckily, uh, I live in Belgium, so it's a very small country. Uh, it didn't take much time. Anyway, I will take you guys to a special place something unique something typical belgian and uh you will see see you Anyway guys, I arrived here um, in the station, train station of Houye. I'm going to take a train to the next village and come back. And while I, while I am on the train, we will pass a really special train station. I will explain you more about it once I arrived. But um, yeah, here it's the village of Huye. Nothing to see here uh, before it was uh, touristic. See this building over there. It was from a camping and um, I think two years ago the river that you will see later in the move in the video anyway the river completely put this village blank and the entire camping everything was destroyed and now I don't know what the plans of this village is with the camping anyway um, I'm waiting for the train now. Shout out to the Stealth Camping Alliance. Thanks a lot Joost for the challenge, the train challenge. Um, I'm glad I found this spot and uh, that I was able to do this. Um, I was not sure if I could make it, but uh, here I am.
d'entrée est Jean Troussel.
So guys, this is what they call here in the south of Belgium mitraillettes. Mitraillettes the same word as um, uh, a machine gun. So it's uh, bread with uh, meat and French fries, Belgian fries, sorry. Stealth Camping Alliance. Belgian style, huh? Yeah, but then... Stealth Camping Alliance. Train challenge. Le train il part chaque matin et chaque soir pour Paris. Paris, pour Paris. Le train il part chaque matin et chaque soir.
Stealth Camping Alliance. Stealth Camping Alliance. Train Challenge. Thanks, Joost. Hello, everybody. I arrived at my destination. This is uh, Halt Royal Dardenne. It's an abandoned train station. We had the second king of Belgium. He was uh, really into constructing buildings and he was a bit of a megaloman uh, king. So he wanted to have a big hotel on top of the hill. Um, it was a castle, it was built uh, as a big hotel. I will show you some pictures. And in this hotel, he invited the elite of Europe and of the world. Famous people like Churchill and other kings, they came here. In that time, there were no cars, so they came by train. And the king, he decided to build this castle, uh, this station, in the form of a castle. And on top of the hill, it was the big castle, the hotel. Um, it's also um, the management of the hotel is the same management as the one who started the Oriental Express. You could see in the beginning of uh, this video, um, the king. We called him also, uh, uh, we laughed, uh, the Belgians, the people, they laughed with the king and they said he's the king construction. Um, not that one, but uh, this one. But... Um, yeah, you had the First World War, then the hotel was plundered by French and by German soldiers. War. But then came the Second World War and um, they tried to reopen it, but they stopped. I think there was also a big fire at, at the end of the 60s. So the hotel is destroyed. This train station now is abandoned. There, there is nothing special, yeah, nothing special to do here. It's quiet, there are no people. But um, back in the days, it was the shit. <laughs> so I arrived, this is my step two, to King Bob de Bauer. And to the Stealth Camping Alliance, the train challenge, and especially to Joost, thank you for this challenge. the station the train tracks and here's where I'm sleeping Good morning guys, I, uh, it's five minutes after six in the morning, the birds are singing and uh, I'm waking up now because in 10-15 minutes the first train is gonna pass and I'm gonna fil film it for you guys.
Help me. I will stop stealing videos. I will stop stealing videos. Let me out. <laughs> Leave no trace, guys. I'm heading off. I'm going to install some cameras to have some cool shots from uh, the train, of the train. Like I said, this King Leopold II, he was kind of a megalomaniac. <laughs> And um, he wanted to make this place in the middle of nowhere the center of uh, Belgium and even he wanted to make it the center of European tourism for high society, not for people like me, but well, bad luck for him. This is empty and I slept here, so I win. <laughs> Boon there done that, huh? If you want to take a royal piss, yes, you heard me, a royal piss or a royal shit. Sorry for my language, but it is like it is. These are the royal toilets. Mm. Even their shit stinks. Okay, royal toilets. If anybody has a fascination about royal toilets, this is the place. So guys, this is it. Late 19th, 19th century train station. Part of some royal luxurious hotel with this, which is destroyed by wars and fires. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot of good footage, so I guess this will be a long video. Hope you enjoyed it. Special tribute to the Stealth Camping Alliance. And uh, especially for this challenge, thanks to Joost for putting up this train challenge. It's a unique one. So. Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. I've been there and I've done that. Cheers. Bye bye. Oh. 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 Camping Alliance, baby! Stealth Camping Alliance! Been there, done that. Been there, done this. Been there, done that. 
Dim dim dum dum day. I always wanted to be a burn in a place for high society. So, burn there, done that. Yeah.